If you are looking to start a streaming and also looking for a private PC, this is going to be the right video for you. I will show you different computers for streaming for different budgets for every resolution. Meaning that I will show you PCs for 1080p, 1440p and 4K monitors. Now, of course, you want to be streaming at 1080p 60fps, but the difference between these PCs is going to be the gaming performance at those resolutions. We will go over from $1,000 all the way up to $3,500. So if your budget is between those price ranges, I recommend you sticking until the end of the video. And if it's not, then you will have bonus private PCs down below in the video description, as well with every other private system that I mentioned. That being said, let's start. With the first one, we have the 15L from HP. This one is $1,000 with the Ryzen 7 5700G and the RX 6600 XT. You also get 16 gigs of RAM, 1TB of hard drive, and 500 gig of SSD. Now, a Ryzen processor is usually recommended for streaming PCs because they usually perform better. For the GPU, NVIDIA is usually recommended for streaming, however the difference between NVIDIA and AMD when it comes to the streaming encoder, it is not that different nowadays. For that reason, for $1000 I think this one is the best one even for streaming and you can play at 1080p really high FPS or even at 4040p if you'd like to. The only thing I recommend you operating here is the RAM if you're going to have a bunch of tasks running on the background while streaming or if you're planning on having two monitors then 32 gigs of RAM is highly recommended however 60 gigs of RAM for most people will do. With the next one we have the SkyTech Nebula with the Ryzen 5 5600X and the RTX 3060 Ti. The main difference is going to be the GPU with the RTX 3060 Ti and you're going to get a better performance for both 1080p and 1440p between this one and the last one. But of course you are paying a $200 premium. You also get 16 gigs of RAM and 1TB of SSD. Same thing goes here, I recommend you upgrading the RAM if you can. And the reason why I didn't put a 32 gigs of RAM preview PC here is because they usually have a bad GPU CPU combo and you have to prioritize that even for streaming. The 5600X is a great CPU for streaming and the RTX 3060 Ti has the Nvidia encoder so you will get a slightly higher quality. You can get the same exact PC on Amazon for $100 less, $1,099. The main difference is the CPU, you get the i5-12400F instead of the 5600X so a slightly less performance for streaming, however you are saving $100. My recommendation is for you to buy the one on the SkyTech website because you get the SkyTech customer support which is really really good and you are buying directly from the company that makes these PCs. Another main difference is that if you buy it from SkyTech you get the PC within one to two business days and if you buy it from Amazon it usually ships within one to three weeks. Of course you are saving $100 here so it's really up to you but my recommendation is for you to go with the one on the SkyTech website, the SkyTech Nebula. But you have both options down below in the video description. With the next one we start with the expensive ones. We are talking about the empowered PC from Amazon for $1600. You get the RTX 3080, a Ryzen 7 5700X, 32 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of SSD and 2 terabytes of hard drive alongside a 750 watt power supply. Now the RTX 3080 it's a great GPU for 1440p high FPS or 4K gaming as well. So if you're looking for the highest FPS at 1440p or even to start streaming at 4K, I would be looking to buy this one because the price is actually not that high considering you also get 32 gigs of RAM which is going to be an advantage for streaming like I mentioned before. You also get plenty of storage in 500 gigs of SSD plus 2 terabytes of hard drive in case you need it. With the next one we have the Azure 2 from SkyTech once again. I mean SkyTech have the best PCs in terms of price to performance in my opinion and this one has the i5 13600K and the RTX 4070 Ti. I actually have this same exact CPU GPU combo so if you want to see the expected FPS at 1440p you will have that video in the top right of the screen. However you can still use this PC for 4k gaming and streaming without any issues. You also get 32 gigs of RAM of DDR5 memory, a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler for the i5 and a Z690 motherboard. You also get 1TB of NVMe SSD and the airflow here is much better than the last one. Down below on the SkyTech website you can also see the FPS average on high settings for 1440p and 1080p but you have more games in my benchmarks. 
And with the last one for $3,400, we are talking about the best streaming slash gaming PC for pricey performance in the whole market. You get the Ryzen 9 7900X alongside the RTX 4090, which is the best GPU for gaming and streaming at 4K. I wouldn't recommend you going with a 1440p monitor here since you will be wasting money. You get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory once again. You get a 360 all-in-one liquid cooler for the Ryzen 9 7900X and you get one terabyte of Gen 4 NVMe SSD. Like I said, in my opinion, this is the best priced 4090 PC out there because most of them are around the $4,000 mark and here you are getting the same performance for much less. If you're going to play at 1080p, then I wouldn't buy anything higher end than the Skytech Nebula, the second PC on this list. And if you want 1440p at the highest FPS, I wouldn't buy anything above the Azure 2 from Skytech. However, if you want the highest FPS for gaming, streaming, multitasking, basically everything, this one is going to be the best option for you, but the most expensive one. But like I said, you're looking to stream at 1080p and every single PC here can stream at 1080p without any issues. Of course, it's going to depend on the type of things you want to do on your live stream, because if you want to have a bunch of tasks open, a bunch of tabs as well, and two to three monitors for streaming, then I do recommend you going with 32 gigs of RAM. So you're looking to spend at least $1,600 on the Amazon PC or adding 16 gigs of RAM to the first two systems. Those are my recommendations. However, I made a whole video talking about the best pre-built PCs of the month and you will have that video in the top right of the screen. I highly recommend you watching it, especially if you're just going to do gaming. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.